This is the first kind of value that I was presented to the law. At this moment, today, the 21st of July, we also underline the need for very strong partnership between the executive, the legislature, the judiciary, and the entire people of Africa. It is this kind of partnership that will help us to really feel that livable and prosperous of land. And the, uh, the other members of the House, for the, your leadership and for the very responsive and responsible manner with diligence, dedication, patriotism that they approach this one and uh, been able to deliver this budget on time as expected. This is one process that I can beat my chest and say that the honorable members did their job professionally, with integrity, and that not a penny exchanged hand as an inducement one way or the other. <laughs> Mr. Speaker and the members of the Assembly, Anambra is not taking this for granted. In our manifesto, we did a first. And we came to the conclusion that one number will require about 250 billion per annum to be spent on critical infrastructure and some other projects to be able to deliver the kind of agenda that we have proposed from their number. But we have also come at a time of severe extreme difficulty. When the oil mine, since February, that was zero remittance from the National National Petroleum Corporation to the Federation account. And to be sure that we implement extreme prudence, you know, bringing transparency and prudence to public finances and getting to spend only on those that are extremely necessary and exceeded. But in the interim, we are aggressively also going on to ratchet up our internal generator. One thing we can say to the other is that we are committed 101% to ensure that that's whatever the borrowed money is totally refined and not one penny of it, not one cover of it, will be spent on anything else other than a critical infrastructure, particularly our roads bridges and flyovers as the case may be. I want to thank all of you and thank the fair number uh, for their support, for their faith, and as for our sacrifices. I want to thank all of you immensely, Mr. Speaker, again, as well as the majority leader, and through you to the members of the uh, State House of Assembly, a new partnership has begun. I'm um, becoming a lot more hopeful that our number is on us. Thank you very much.